Okay, in this video we are going to find the distance from a point to a line, which is a problem you might do in an algebra class or a geometry class. Um, it's not a hard problem, but you got to remember how to do it. Um, so I'm going to start with a picture. So we have a point and we have a line. And to do this problem, you have to remember that when a question says to find the distance from a point to a line, or the distance from anything to anything else, it always means the shortest distance. In this particular case, and actually in all cases, that distance um, lies along the perpendicular. So I'm drawing the perpendicular. So to solve this, I'm going to need um, a couple of things. So let's come up with a plan. So the first thing I need to do is I'm going to need to find the equation of that perpendicular line. So I need to find the equation of the perpendicular line through the given point. Um, and then after I find that, I'm going to need to find the intersection of the given line and the perpendicular line that I just wrote. Uh, because that is going to be that point right there. And then finally, what I need to do is find the distance between the intersection point that I just found and um, the given point. So if I can do those things, then I'll know the distance from the point to the line. So to do that, I need to know a couple of things, or really just remember them. So the first one is uh, the slopes of perpendicular lines are opposite reciprocals. So the slope of the perpendicular is negative or the opposite of 1 over the given slope. And I need to know the distance formula, because that's how we find distance. So the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. And then finally, I'm going to have to write the equation of the line. So I always use point-slope form for that. So y minus y0 equals m, the quantity x minus x0. Okay, so if I know those things and I kind of have this plan in mind, I should be able to solve it. So let's do an example. So we want the distance from the point 3, 2 to the line uh, y equals 2x minus 3. So you don't really need a picture for this, if you kind of can picture it in your mind, but I'm going to draw one anyway. So there we go, and, and D, that little segment there, is the distance that we're looking for. So the first thing that I need is the equation of the line perpendicular to the given line. So the slope of that is going to be the opposite reciprocal of the slope of the given line, so negative 1 over 2. Uh, the given point was 3, 2, so that's the point that we use. And then we're going to use point slope form. So the perpendicular line is y minus the given y value is 2 equals the slope, so negative 1 over 2, and then the quantity x minus the given x value is 3. So there's our perpendicular line. Uh, the next thing we need to do is find the intersection of this line we just wrote with the given line. So that amounts to solving a system of equations. We want to solve this system. y equals 2x minus 3, y equals 2 minus 1 half the quantity x minus 3. So to do that, um, they're both equal to y, so I'm going to set them equal to each other. It's kind of like substitution, um, or the transitive property, whichever way you want to talk about it. Uh, I like to clear denominators, so I'm going to multiply through by 2. So 4x minus 6 equals 4 minus the quantity x minus 3. Uh, I'm going to clear the parentheses on the right-hand side there. Don't forget to distribute the negative. And now I'm going to uh, add x to both sides and add 6 to both sides in the same step. So I get 5x here. Um, and then I'm going to get equals, I have 7, and then I'm adding 6, so equals 13. So x is 13 fifths. Once I know that, I need to plug it into either of the equations. The easier one to work with is y equals 2x minus 3, so that's what I'm going to plug into. So y is 2 times the quantity, 13 fifths, and then minus 3. So 26 fifths minus 15 fifths is 11 fifths, so the y value is 11 fifths. So now I know the intersection point. So I'm almost done. Um, intersection point is 13 fifths comma 11 fifths. So now, to actually answer the question, I need to find the distance from this intersection point to the given point. So the distance is square root of, um, it's going to be x minus x, so 13 uh, 3 minus 13 fifths squared, and then plus y minus y, so 2 minus 11 fifths squared. And now I just I need to do some arithmetic. So um, that's 15 fifths minus 13 fifths is 2 fifths, and then squared, plus um, 10 fifths minus 11 fifths is negative 1 fifth squared. And don't forget, when you square a negative, it becomes a positive. So it's going to be the square root of 4 20 fifths plus 1 20 fifth, which is the square root of 5 over 25. And now I'm going to break this into two radicals, just so it's really clear what happens. So radical 5 over radical 25, and then the square root of 25 is 5, so five, radical 5 over 5, and that is the distance. So if you keep the plan in mind, maybe draw a picture for yourself. Remember all the, the formulas, so you need a distance formula, slope of, uh, slope of perpendicular lines, and um, the equation of a line. You should be able to solve this with no real, real trouble. Um, I hope you found this helpful, and good luck.